Yeah. Any you lot right now, yeah? Let me know right now who lives with their parents, yeah? You don't have to say it's all right, it's cool, yeah, for whatever reason, isn't it, yeah? But if you live with your parents right now and you want to say, say, yeah, I still live at home, yeah? And if you are that person living at home, yeah, it's a fucking luxury, yeah? And this is the thing that pisses me off about young people. Let me move this camera. This is the thing that pisses me off about young people. They moan and they complain about living at home. Oh, I need my own freedom. I need my own space. Yeah, my parents are getting on my nerves. Yeah, your parents are getting on your nerves more than likely because you're spending too much time at home. If you worked Monday to Friday, eight a.m. to five p.m., if you came home, relaxed in your room for an hour went to the gym for a couple of hours, came back and worked on some kind of business plan or whatever, yeah? And it took you up to 11 p.m. You did that Monday to Friday. It's Saturday and Sunday, maybe you go to the gym. Maybe you hang out with your friends. And in that time on Saturday and Sunday, you work on um, some kind of business plans. You have hobbies like taekwondo or motorbike riding. You will not be at home to be pissing off and getting on, getting into altercations with your parents. You're not doing enough. Again, you need to be utilizing that opportunity that you have here yeah, to live at your parents' house, because I'm telling you, you're 20 years old, 25 years old or whatever right now, yeah? Speak to people who are 35 or whatever, and they have a, a small child or whatever. They will tell you, boy, or even someone who's 40, 45, whatever in it, older person. They'll tell you, boy, if I could go back in time, I would live at my parents' house until I'm 30. And in that time, I would stack every Ross Clark penny. Now, they ain't gonna stack every single penny, obviously, but they're gonna what they're trying to say is they'll be fucking smart with their money. Yeah, because they know the gift of being able to live at home. Yeah. No, if you could go home, if you could go back in time right now, you'd probably be living at your parents' house, yeah? Stacking your money. Yeah, because, you know, when you're out on your own, it's, it's, it's a lot tougher. Yeah? At least, like, who wants to fucking live with random people in their house, yeah? yeah? You'd rather live with your family, people who share the fucking same DNA as you. Yeah? Most of them houses and that they're all nasty. You don't know, you don't want to be living in in no fucking no house shit. Yeah? And there's young people who have that gift and that opportunity to be able to live at their parents' house. Now there are some wicked parents that charge their their, their children like five hundred pound a month, which I don't fucking get. Right? There's some. It's a lot of working class parents as well. Yeah, they they feel like their children. Um, they feel like their, their, their children are, are here to provide them with a with a source of extra income. They feel like their children are here to provide themselves with a, um, provide them with an extra source of income. No, nah, it don't go that way. Innit? But if your parents are charging you like a not not too much of an expensive rent rent per room um, for your room or whatever, let's say two hundred fifty pound a month, right? You need to be utilizing that opportunity, man. Save your money. But what they do is they live outside their means, they buy drugs, they spend money that they're not they don't need to be spending, and then they put themselves in a position that when their parents told them that they need to leave, they feel like they haven't been given any notice. Now you've been given plenty of notice, yeah. When things are going smoothly. That's the time not to get comfortable. Yeah, that's the time to grind. Yeah, you should always be grinding anyway, but it's grind. It's the calm before the storm, I'm telling you. Just like before COVID, everything was smooth. Everyone was enjoying their life. Then bam, people lose their jobs. Scared, panic. Not me, but I prepared for it. Not that I knew it was coming, but I prepared for it.